All right, this is my reaction video to why W. Melly is suing Broward County Sheriff's Office for violating his rights. Look, man, I know that they say that you're innocent and to proven guilty, but we got to start thinking about circumstantial evidence. Everything leads back to Melly doing what he did, bruh. Everything. From the bullet in the back, from the film recording of him leaving the studio, him getting in the back seat, uh, where the shooting projectiles shows that the inside bullets hit his uh, friends, man. He's a call, I don't even know if you call him friends, bruh. This is this is terrible. But for three years, they said he's not allowed to have any contact with family or friends. So if you're fighting a case, I do think he should be able to talk to his legal team. Now that I do agree. But y'all, y'all hit that like button. Please subscribe to the channel and check out this video. Boy, that's very fucked up. I know a lot of people are like, he's cooked. He killed his two best friends. Fuck him. He should be in there. I get those comments all the time. Even people that are convicted of murder and convicted R word, people that do mass shootings, they get to call people. And why do those people get to call people, but Melly doesn't? Was giving coded language to people through fucking notes. Remember that whole thing? He got charged with witness tampering recently. That's why. But three years seems like a long time for that. Demons has and continues to be subjected to the type of debilitating isolation that renders his conditions of incarceration cruel, unusual, and beyond belief in a civilized society governed by constitutional safeguards. He has also had restrictions placed by detention officials designed to impede his interactions with his attorneys, his ability to prepare for trial on capital murder charges. He should be able to talk to his attorneys at all times. I said this previously, that's insane. They're trying to prepare for trial. His cruel treatment by the Broward detention authorities warrants his immediate release from pretrial detention since the detaining authorities have shown such callous disregard for his human dignity right to counsel. He's currently incarcerated at Broward County Jail. Sheriff Gregory Tony is the sheriff of Broward County and responsible for the humane treatment and overall conditions of inmates in Broward County detention facilities. Been arrested since February 13, 2019. Missed trial in July of 2023. In October of 2023, Broward Circuit Judge Don Murphy granted the petitioner's motion to disqualify the state prosecutor motion containing the state attorney's withheld evidence. Remember, they kicked off that prosecutor and then now they have two new prosecutors on the case that aren't playing no games. They appealed some bullshit they know is going to get denied and it's just delaying the case on purpose so they have more time to make a case on uh, Melly. A new set of prosecutors have come on and have done everything in their power to delay the trial from commencing. Literally what I just said. The case currently stayed pending on ruling of an appeal taken by state attorney. Meanwhile, the plaintiff who remains in custody since February 2019 is continuously abused and denied bond. I don't think anyone would ever... He has been locked up since February 2019. I remember when he got locked up. I didn't know much about Y&W Melly. Uh, he was a younger guy in a younger generation field. In 2019, I was in my 30s, and uh, I just really wasn't into that kind of rap. But once he got locked up and they started talking about some of his music, I like that Blue Balenciaga song. I like that Murder on My Mind. Uh, he got a song with Fredo Bang called Free Melly. If y'all want to check out YNW Melly, uh, y'all can go to his page. Uh, hold on one second. We're going to check it out for you. Uh, bam, bam, bam. This is YNW Melly's page right here, y'all. That's his page right there. So if y'all want to check out YNW Melly, man, that's him right there. That's that Minor Melvin featuring Lil Uzi Vert. Uh, he got one Young and shit featuring YNW Gunna and Hot Boy. Uh, you know, these are just some of his, uh, so he got a song with Kodak Black. Uh, you know, like I said, man, Melly's been locked up, man, since 2019, bruh. But let's continue the video. Y'all hit that like button and please subscribe to the channel. Get bond for the charges he has. That'd be pretty ridiculous, but it's capital murder charges. No one gets bond on this. The petitioner has not been permitted to phone or person or any type of visitation with his family, including his mother, for over three years. In addition, the respondents have placed unreasonable restrictions and interfered with the ability of his attorneys to interact with him, including forcing his attorneys to wait for hours to see him, not letting them see him at all, and force them to meet with him in conditions that interfere with and impede the privacy and privileged nature of his communication with his lawyers. So in April... So they be hitting them with the flim flam. They'll tell his attorneys that, yeah, we'll let you see him today and that go up there and wait for hours just to not let him see him. That right there is out of pocket, bruh. Uh, but Melly was flooding his zones. He was acting like a menace in jail. When they didn't give him a bond and he knew he was going to sit down in there, Melly was acting crazy in there, bruh. So he probably ruined his ability to have visitation. So, you know, you got to look at it on both sides. These people right here will not just not allow a celebrity figure to not see his attorneys. 
unless there was uh, reasons that they figured that they weren't going to let him see his attorney. But anyway, let's continue. Uh, by the way, this is Cuff Boys. Uh, I get a lot of my information from this guy. He's legit. He has 2.27 million subscribers. Uh, this guy right here, like I say, he's pretty legit, man. Uh, you know, you got to watch who you get your news from. This one you cannot fix. This is bad character evidence that came in. Oh, the state should Hold on. That's a mistake on my end, y'all. Y'all bear with me. Here we go. The privacy and privacy nature of his communication with his lawyers. So in April of 2022, an inmate, Jamal Myers, filed a grievance report of retaliation of the plaintiff's refusal to purchase some food from the commissary. Myers filed a grievance report not only plaintiff, but for another inmate. Inmate Myers alleged in part that Demons was planning an escape by having his attorney bring in two handcuffed keys to aid in the escape. Okay. That just seems, doesn't seem possible. No attorney is going to do that. It's probably some bullshit conversation Millie was having with someone and was just yapping. A response correction personnel connected a shakedown of plaintiff. But you have to take things like that serious. If Millie was to pull off a crime so heinous like this by staging a drive-by killing and killing two people he called childhood friends, I wouldn't put it past him if he was having a conversation with somebody in the jailhouse about him trying to escape. So, you know, we can't, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, yeah, we like Melly, woobity wah, woobity wah. But, you know, we can't just sit there and put things past certain people, man. We cannot like a certain person and put things past what they would do. It is what it is. If Melly was that crazy to have two of his friends killed by himself and lie about it, and the way he was acting after the people were dead... He was just acting, you know, nonchalant and free willy and partying. And then with the evidence they had that he got into it with Sack Chaser. Like, there's a lot of things that lead up to, yeah, Melly, you could have done this. So, you know, and then this F the police thing, allegedly what these guys be talking about. Man, you can't sit there and you can't pretend that you're a gangster rapper and that you do real gangster stuff. And then when the stuff hits the fan, you want people, oh, man, I'm innocent. You know, so you got to be careful how you uh, conduct yourself. Let's continue. So and the other inmates so. In accordance with certain supplemental investigation reports, the shakedown of plain cell unearthed commissary and excessive jail-issued clues, which were cops can dispose of as per operational orders of the jail. Oh, okay, this is about Melly's in the same cell as him, was found with the shank. I remember this whole situation now. The other inmate on the dorm was found in possession of shanks, prescription drugs, and other contraband. The inmate was subsequently charged for possession of the contraband. The plaintiff was found to have committed no wrongdoing, and the investigation closed on the plaintiff on April 11, 2022. Despite doing no wrong, the plaintiff was moved from his current dorm into solitary confinement and all phone communication with the outside world ceased. Shortly thereafter, two plaintiffs' defense counsel attended to visit him and were not allowed to enter into the jail facilities. The facility refused to provide any reason to the denial. Millie's lawyer made an ortinous motion regarding the jail's interference with the plaintiff's right to counsel. Honorable Judge Andrew Siegel summoned Broward Sheriff's Office Attorney Christian Tisobis to court. Tisobis defended the actions of the facility, saying there was an open investigation against Mr. Demons and further that he was a threat to the security of the jail because he was alleged by the attorney to have been found with a shank in his dorm. But I thought it wasn't about Millie. Someone else got found with it. And I thought the investigation closed at some point. Melly. A lot of the times, you know, Melly having access to millions of dollars, a lot of the times uh, people will take your fall for you. You know what I'm saying? And then when you don't, you know, come on your end of the stick. We've seen this with uh, the young Dolph case that, okay, if I do this deed for you, I'm supposed to get X, Y, Z, and then I get A, B, C. You know, you don't get what you, you know, thought you would get. So people will flip on you like that. Man, you know, like I said, bro, this thing with this Y and W Melly thing is sad. Uh, you know, if he did do this, Melly, you out of pocket. Uh, let's continue. Isolate Demons, the respondents have isolated him and not permitted a single phone call or visit from his family in over three years. The isolation has inflicted an enormous emotional impact on him and is designed to deteriorate his mental health and his ability to prepare for trial now scheduled for September 2025. These restrictions are not for security reasons and bear no rational relationship to any legitimate security interests. The respondents monitor the custody of thousands of inmates and have never imposed such restrictions. No non-black inmates currently have any such punitive restrictions. Yikes. Ground one, the respondents illegally and improperly violated the petitioner's constitutional guaranteed right to counsel and his ability to prepare for trial. Ground two, the respondent is being illegally detained under conditions that are cruel and unusual and not. 
Yeah, as you see, those are cruel, unusual conditions, but that's a way that they use to break you. And the cycle, look, somebody said three years, no outside contact, complete isolation, six years awaiting trial, right to a speedy trial violation. You do know that there was a hung juror. At first, the juror was with the program. Did you do know that Melly's mom was supposed to, somebody allegedly was supposed to have been trying to contact jurors? They had on a list of paper of the jurors and stuff. Melly... All the evidence, even that judge said it at that time, all this evidence goes back to Melly doing this crime. You know, him in the suitcase. Well, you know, so Melly, you, you, you look bad doing this situation, bro. You ought to just take that plea deal life in jail, bro, because they're not going to let you out. When they gave you the mistrial situation and that judge set up that the judge was upset, you're not doing nothing but making it worse for yourself, Melly. They're going to wind up giving you the death penalty, Melly, because you're wasting these people's money and time. And now this is the second go around. His next trial date is September of 2025, y'all. So he'll be sitting in jail for about another year before he even goes to trial. It is what it is, man. Uh, free Melly until you know he's guilty, bro. Hey, man, uh, y'all do me a big favor. Do the big three, bro. Like, share, and subscribe to this video. I appreciate it. Please hit the like button. It helps my videos get recognized in places that, you know, more people on YouTube can watch. Y'all do me the big three. Y'all have a safe afternoon.